Hello everyone, Swadika. Welcome to uh, the Kids and Family Show. Uh, I just wanted to thank the three people who donated. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but um, Al Alcazar, Al Alcazar from Canada was the uh, person who offered the donation in the first place. And then I said, oh yes, actually, uh, maybe we can donate to the temple. So we're going to donate some chickens today. Um, I'm still waiting for my friend, so I'm just filming this now, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to film giving the chickens or not, but um, we are here at the temple, and I will, I will put some pictures up um, of the area also, because I, I have been telling everyone I do a little slideshow of, um, of the area, so. And I guess I'll just do voice over for that, because uh, I'm not sure about the, the music, but. Anyway, so thank you to Al Alcazar from Canada. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And then um, also Joan Elizabeth uh, Cadwell, who donated also, and um, to my sister, <laughs> who donated. So anyway, um, and then I, I just wanted to, I guess I'm not going to do anything but just do kids and family show, um, because I haven't done kids and family show in a little while. So, uh, and then just show the area of uh, Krabi, Thailand. I live uh, Ao Nang, so a lot of it's Ao Nang, but then uh, the surrounding area as well. And um, yeah, just to, just to let you know a little update on um, the chickens. Uh, we did have um, uh, King Midas die, which was very tragic. And um, his death uh, correlated with the death of a, a young girl. And um, who is about my age, three years younger, 33. And um, so, anyway, I was just going to tell you about the stories of King Midas. King Midas, um, he he was the one who tied the Gordian knot, and he uh, was taught about thinking outside of the box and to come up with ways to um, solve problems. That is, you know, not not your, not within the framework that people normally think. And uh, so, you know, the story with that is uh, whoever was going to untie the knot became the king of Asia. And so Alexander the Great, on his way through, um, just took his sword and, and uh, cut the knot, and it, it broke. So um, then also he, he was uh, friends with the gods, and he, he had helped a god um, in a field, and uh, oh, my friend's here. And uh, anyway, he he was given a wish, and so he wished for um, everything he touched to turn into gold to help his uh, empire. And uh, so uh, he he did get the the wish, but then he realized he went to go tell his daughter, and she turned into gold. And then he went to um, you know, eat, and he couldn't eat. All the food turned into gold. So it was about really knowing what you wish for. But um, you can always uh, ask for for forgiveness. You can you can also you know, or not even forgiveness, but you can uh, ask for to change your mind, to change the situation. You can change whatever you might get yourself into by accident, and then you can always change it. And uh, so that was what he did. Um, that God's loved him so they allowed him to wash his hands in the, the river and then um, the the gold from from the, his hands the magic gold uh, just went into the river and then from now on everybody can um, get the gold from the river but um, you know it's it's just that we can always turn ourselves around we can always make every moment new we can always figure out uh, new solutions and do the the best thing in that moment and you know change anything, reverse it anything, and, um, you know, it's really about living, living for what, what really matters to us, what, you know, what our, our values are, and, um, living, living our dreams out, and, and, um, you know, always, always knowing there's, a, a way forward, and a way, a way to live the way we want, you know, so it's like, um, making the best of every moment because life is precious and that's what I you know I really have been seeing lately is that you know life is very very precious and um, we're here to enjoy ourselves and enjoy our lives and 
it's okay when things die, it's okay when life dies, but we're here to live and um, to, to live, you know, for, for every moment the best we can do and, um, and really um, be okay with, with whatever has to die and, um, and really live for, for what makes us feel good and live for, you know, our values and, and take care of ourselves and our hearts and, and um, when we truly take care of our heart then everybody benefits. So. Anyway, we are here now, so I'm going to go um, go see about bringing the chickens, and we're going to climb to the top of this little uh, hill, and then uh, do some filming up there, so we can get a, a 360 view. I think it's 360 view. So, okay, one minute. Hello everyone, so turns out we, I, I had given them some chickens before and they they ended up having babies, it's so cute, there's four babies, four or five babies, yeah, so it's so cute, and uh, the chickens are all doing well, so anyway we are donating some more chickens, thank you everyone for the donations. And um, they said it's okay to film, so we'll, I'll show you around a little bit. Okay, I want to see the babies. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Well, we can't really see. They, they're all hiding. Oh, there's a little baby hopping out. Little black one. How cute. Oh, there's another one. Oh, so cute. Oh. Goodbye, you. Yeah, she does it. I know, you don't want me to touch your babies. I want to see your baby. Let's see. Oh. I think they got to have more. more yeah, babies. they have a lot of eggs. They got to have babies. You have ten babies. You're so friendly, adopted. Yeah. This boy is friendly, friendly yeah. dog. Some babies. How many? Maybe four. Look, look. Yeah. Look inside, inside. Sure. Four, four, five. Five. Oh, yeah. Three. No, six. Yeah. Wow. Six. Wow. Six babies. Three. Maybe they're happy black and three. Yeah. How cute. Wow. Six babies. And then, yeah, this one looks like. It's so cute. Okay, you're so cute. cute. This dog so cute. I know, I know, I know. What a good mama! Wow! Oh, see, she's so happy. Yeah, she look healthy also. Yeah. She look good. healthy. You see? Yeah, yeah. They they feed them good. Wow. You better have more food. Yeah, I know. So cool. Yeah. See the boy make baby over oh. there. <laughs> <laughs> the father. What a nice thing to come to see the baby yeah and then the boy make baby yeah. I think over there and here are the, the new three that we're giving the expensive chicken <laughs> they're a little bit hot little frizzles they want to stay here okay so here we are this is the main temple and there's a lot of side temples around and then um, and then I'll take you to see the chickens more of the temple. And they, it's in these um, rocks that go way up here. Well, you can see. A lot of people here today. So all of the rocks here. Buddha's feet over there. So these are the gardens. I don't know if you can see the chickens down there, but they're over there. We'll go down there. You see the moms out with their babies. And then these are the stairs up to the um, up to the lookout point. So here's one of the mamas with the babies out. you guys are. <laughs> Actually, I just saw the other chicken I gave them, and she had babies too. They have a lot of babies. 
And that's the other chicken I dropped off before uh, a couple months ago. And she has babies too, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. I think that's a good sign, the abundance. <laughs> There are two of them. I don't know where the other one is. This is this is their new boyfriend. <laughs> they have two new boyfriends. Okay, so I guess this is the view. Uh, we didn't go all the way to the top. There is no all the way to the top. It just goes a little way. So anyway, here we are. And it's been a very nice day, and now we will go and get some food. So, kakun ka and swali ka, and I hope you enjoy the slideshow of Krabby Town. Thank <laughs> you. 